Hey guys, and welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a very powerful spell, in my opinion. It's called Forbidden Spell of the Mirror. It's a normal spell card, and it reads, The effect of Forbidden Spell of the Mirror can only be used once per duel. Alright, so you pretty much just want run one in your deck. You must pay one, I mean, you must pay 2,000 life points to activate this card. Okay. Target one spell card in either player's graveyard. Activate that card for this turn only. During this turn's end phase, banish this card in any card that was affected by the targeted card effects. I think this card is really broke and really, really good. It's pretty much a one for one where, you know, you pay 2,000 life points, and at this point in the game, you know, people totally don't mind paying 2,000 life points. I mean, if Soul Charge wasn't a thing. I mean, because Soul Charge exists, this card's not as good because you'd be like, okay, well, I want to use Monster Boar and I'd pay 2,000, 1,000, but, you know, I'd pay 2,000 to copy a spell card in either player's graveyard, but most majority of the time I'd probably be copying my own graveyard, but definitely I would pay 2,000 life points to activate another of the same spell. It's definitely a good filler spot. I th I'd say it'd even be considered a staple, you know. So you can go ahead, you know, use your Rota, search for something, activate this, pay 2,000, search with Rota again. It pretty much gives you uh, two spell cards. Um, it's kind of like, you know, a Magician of Faith, except, you know, faster and more versatile. And also, keep in mind, you can copy your opponent's graveyard. Now, the catch is, is that during the end phase, you banish this card and any card that was affected by the targeting card. So... Pretty much, whatever you're going to do, you got to use it that turn or else it's going to get banished. So, you know, definitely, you know, in decks like, for example, Constellers, you know, I totally don't mind going Rota, search for Pollux, activate this card, pay 2,000, search for another Pollux, use the two Polluxes, and then during the end phase, they're not banished because the monster affected by the, the spell, the Forbidden Spell of the Mirror is an XC material. So, that's definitely a good play. A really, really cheap play that you could pull off with this card is... Activate this card, pay 2,000. If your opponent is using filled spells, target their filled spell in the graveyard. Their monsters would be affected by their filled spell, of course. You know, if, for example, for example, Harpies or something. Then, during the end phase, you banish this card and any card that was affected by the targeted card. The targeted card was their filled spell. Their Harpy ladies were affected by their filled spell on their field. So all their monsters get banished. <laughs> You can copy Dark Hole, you can copy MSTs, Book of Moons, you know, whatever. Um, I prefer this card over uh, Magician of Fate. I feel like it's faster, it's more versatile, it's not as obvious, you know. You can just pretty much drop this on anything. You know, Magician of Faith, it's slow, it's obvious. you got to wait an entire turn to, you know, get your card. This card, you could just literally play the card and then literally do it again. So you can literally go, like, uh, Dark Hole, you know. Play, pay 2,000, Dark Hole it again, if you if you need to, you know, um, you can go double Rota, you can go double Tenki, if, you know, Tenki's in the grave, you can go Tenki, search for Bear, Bear through the chair, um, activate this, pay 2,000, it becomes Tenki, Tenki search for another Beast Warrior, you know, um, so, you know, there's definitely a lot of plays that you can do with this card, I think it's a very powerful card, um, I'm probably missing a lot of plays that you could probably pull off with this card, so, Go ahead and tell me what plays you guys would do if this card really exists, or if you would play it at all. Um, so, uh, looking forward to hearing your guys' comments, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me if you guys think this card's really good or not. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card. Thanks for watching.